Welcome everyone. Uh, here's a quick video on making the medical visors. First, get all the tools you need ready. Uh, a good cutting mat if you've got one or a nice cutting surface, a stapler, some staples, uh, masking tape and a pen, tape measure, a good pair of scissors, a Stanley blade, a glue gun and some glue sticks. It's important to get a setup right first. So what I've done is I've used um, some masking tape to create two strips here. One strip is 32 centimeters in length. That's to cut the elastic straps. This next one is 23 centimeters in length. That's for your foam blocks. I've then divided that into five sections with four um, lines. What we'll do now is we'll start off preparing one of the materials. Your acetate should be A4. If it's A3, cut it down to obviously be A4 because it'd be easier to handle. So we'll, we'll round off the edges, come in by one centimeter so that the finished size is 200 mil, like so. Um, I've actually cut two sheets at one time. You can cut two or three or one, it's up to you. It's just whatever's easiest and how good your scissors are. The next part is the foam blocks. Note that the foam blocks are 40 by 30, so it's the narrowest side that you want to put the grooves. So you'll take your foam block over to this first um, uh, marker that you've set up for your setup guide. Don't cut in further than halfway because it will make the foam move and it will just tear along that edge. So come in like that and just cut the grooves along your guides. They don't need to be perfect, but try and do them as neatly as possible. And then you can just pull the, the waste bits out. They should just come out nice and easily. And that will give us our, our curve for the forehead. Next, the elastic straps. Uh, I've actually cut all of ours to size, um, but you would have it on a roll. You'll pull it in along to your tape here, and then you're just using the same knife, just cut them like that. It tends to work better than scissors, but if you've only got scissors, then it'll have to do. Now add that to your stack. Try and get everything ready first. So get your foam blocks, get your elastic straps, get your acetate, everything ready to go and your glue gun turned on once you've got everything prepared. Now it's the assembly time. Uh, and then I can show you what these little markers are for. <clears throat> if you take one of your acetate screens, I line it right up to the edge here. I put a little marker just to, if I want to start from that side or that side, just so I put it as a central guide. Grab the piece of foam that we've just cut and we'll put the glue gun down it. Make sure you, you've definitely got some on each end and you can get the glue gun working really nicely and quickly along here and come down along that way like that. Now, position it centrally to that acetate and come in by a few millimeters, like five millimeters. Now it's quite hard to gauge where to put it on the acetate when it's clear. That's why I put my markers and then I put these other um, markers down here for where the foam should line up to. Let that cool down for a few minutes. I might do it a bit quicker for this video now, but just try and let that cool down. Now we can start with the strapping. Turn your, once that's cool to touch, so you probably make a whole batch of these, let those cool down. Bring the strap to the edge like this and then apply a staple like that. That'll make it much easier to handle now. Turn it round, apply the next staple. Turn it round, turn it over, and do the same thing. Again, you can line it up to the top, it's just easier. Staple. If you feel that your staples aren't the, aren't the strongest, apply another one in the middle, there's no problem at all. It's, it's a minimum of two staples. If you can do three, that's, and you feel it's stronger, then please do that. And there's our finished visor, ready to go. Um, there is an important notice. 
if you can please ensure that once you finish these and you've got your whole stack ready and all prepared, that you do give them a really good um, uh, clean with the antibacterial spray, which I'm sure we've all got now, uh, just to ensure that once they're boxed up, that if, then, if they need to be used straight away, that they can be used straight away. Obviously, the, um, uh, all the NHS staff and, can and handlers will try and clean them at their end, but you know, if they're pushed for time, if we know that we've got a box marked as these have been cleaned, then they're safe uh, to use straight away.